is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Sean in Canada. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how's it going, brother? It's going great, man. How you doing? I'm a huge fan of the show. I just found out about you guys within the last uh, month and a half. Okay. And I can't believe I'm like, where did these guys come from? How did you find out about us? Sometimes I'll go and I'll go in the search engine and try to find some market analysis. Okay, man. <laughs> Welcome to the Tiger family. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us, man. Yeah, man. I really appreciate you guys, and I'm just excited to watch your bid. I get a lot out of them. I really love the intros you do and the experience and the energy, and you guys are pretty special. Well, we got a great network, man, and there's a lot of diversity, man, and we're really lucky. Thank you so much for calling, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sean. Have a great one. Have a safe Thanks. one. You too, bud. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. This is a cool card, folks. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, when you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 52. NASDAQ is up 23. S&Ps are down 2. Gold contract up $9.40, trading at 12.43 an ounce. Silver up 16 cents, $16.26 an ounce. Platinum flat, 9.27 an ounce. Copper up half a penny, 2.72 a pound. Light sweet crude up 39 cents, 46 dollars, 62 cents a barrel. Notes, 10-year note, up 11.6, 126.03, 30-year bond, up 31.6, 153.27, King Dollar, getting toasted and roasted with monster volume. King Dollar down 489 ticks, trading at 89, 80, trading at 94.41. Bottom line, King Dollar's making its way down to the 92 to 91 area. Way it's trading right now, we just might see that baby break and get into 88. The euro is at 115 and a half to the US dollar. The yen is at 111, just about 112 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You have the SPY trading sideways. Yeah, you're flat. You're 245 flat. Uh, bottom line, this is what's amazing out here, folks. Today and yesterday inside the SPY is that there are no buyers in the SPY. Uh, yesterday was the lightest volume day in the SPY, uh, 33 million shares. We've done 29 million today. You'll end up doing about 38 million, whatever. Bottom line, <coughs> excuse me, folks, you just have no buyers up here. Uh, Dow Industrials, we look at, take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials, Got down a price point today of uh, 21471 rejected uh, lower price. Now, this is not a hammer, though. That, what ends up happening, these get a little, they're not tricky, but the bottom line is that it, it would be a perfect hammer if you were down uh, at lows. That's a hanging man. So it's basically hanging out there in a big way. The composite, NASDAQ composite, and after the close out here, too, we're going to have big blue coming out with numbers. And that, no doubt, uh, will go over big blue, but I expect that's going to affect uh, the Dow Industrials ASAP. Uh, and the S&P. Uh, the comp right now, NASDAQ comp, comp is up 24 bucks. You are at 63.38, and we're right at the highs. 63.41 is where we came off down hard on the 9th of June. If we go take a look at the volume characteristic as we're doing this, you get 1.3 billion shares we're doing right now. Uh, you're going into 3.1 billion. So bottom line, I'd love to see it get up actually one more point and, and go test that high. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. That's, uh, we're at 58.74. That has a while to go because uh, it's, uh, it's 97. Uh, the high is 97, 58.97. Uh, gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract got a bid. 
We get volume behind the bid. You're up nine bucks. You've done 237,000 contracts. We are at a price point of 1242. I expect what we're going to see here is that gold's going to make that run for 1260. Um, you know, that's on a short term. Longer term, yeah, it, it, already, it broke its downtrend on the 14th, which is the last Thursday. Uh, bottom line, that's going to send it up to 1298. We'll see how we uh, hit the 12. Uh, 60 area first. We take a look at the silver market. Silver also caught a bid. Silver needed a bid badly too. We had to get silver inside the $16.12. We did 85,000 contracts, which is good contract volume in the silver market. You got inside the $16.12 as well as the $16.25. Uh, now, you know what? We want 16. I now I want 16.30. I always want something else, right? Bottom line, I'd like to, you, you're inside the higher range, but the deeper you get in, of course, the more probability is that you are going to go higher. Notes. Notes in bonds, folks, they are the Everetti battery, Everetti bunny. They just won't stop. So you get the 10-year note. That's up 11 ticks. You're at 126.03. The high that we're shooting for now is 127.08. That was the high that was generated on the 14th. You got... Price move, you get the volume move, you get all of it. We take a look at the 30-year bond, 30, 30-year bond out here. 30-year bond is almost up a point. We're up 30 ticks. You've done 198,000 contracts. Trading out at a price point of 153.26. That thing wants to run up to the high, which is 157.08. And good old King Dollar, King Dollar, folks, Pretty amazing. It just can't catch a bid, um, and it's it's building some real steam now too. So King Dollar, March second was 102. January third it was 103. Now we've had two separate breakdowns since the 27th of June. We we broke first from 97 to 96. You go sideways, then we break from 96. Now we break down again. You're at 94.410. If we take a look at this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that you're going right for the bottom of the consolidation that we've been in since March of 2015. And, you know, if you're a bull, here's the bull and bear of the, of the dollar right now. Because we've gone down so fast, you're, if you're a bull, that's how you'd kind of like it to go down to hit these lows. Why? Because as it gets down there, it should run out of strength. Now, that being said, I'm a bear, okay? I expect maybe some kind of a bounce there, but what has happened is that the, the dollar has actually got more strength as it's moving lower. What we had last week inside the futures market is that the data that came out on Friday from the CTFC, there was more dollar buying that prior week than there had been in years. Well, bottom line, they, those people are blown out right now. If they're not blown out, they're going to be blown out in a few more ticks. So, bottom line, dollar's going south. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And, of course, we're going to have a lot of numbers coming out after the close. One of the big dogs out here is going to be uh, Big Blue, IBM. IBM right now is trading at 153.69. That thing um, looks to me like uh, you're going to go down five, six, seven, ten points. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down 59. You get the Nasdaq up 24. S&Ps are uh, down one and a half. We go take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, weakness out here today, putting uh, juice into the downside is Goldman Sachs. That's putting 36 negative points. Catapult is putting 12. Big Mac's putting 11. Home Depot's putting 10. Uh, putting some juice into it. Johnson & Johnson's putting 16 positive points. Procter & Gamble, 6. Visa, 6. IBM, 5. Now, let's go over to Big Blue because Big Blue, 4 o'clock, coming out with his numbers. So, Big Blue trading 153.80. The low for the year is 147. The high is 182. Bring this baby up. Let's take a look here. So, Big Blue last topped out at 182. That was February of this year. The actual high, I believe is 215, was a few years ago. Yeah, 215, March of 13, 2013. Okay, so what you're gonna see here, I suspect is this. We did, if we take a look at this, so let's see how this shakes out. So when we go from the lows to the highs of the last retracement, you did um, over a 61% retracement. Now, that's a good indication that, you know, you could get right back up there. We, we just got over it. And what I'm talking about is that we went from $215 in 2013, down to 116, almost cut in half, did the counter trend bounce. So that in itself is a strong move. Off of that strong move, guess what? <laughs> We went south once again, 180 down to the 150 mark, and we take a look at this, and we put this on a two-year, let's see, weekly though. Okay, so looking at that, what we have is this, which hasn't got tested yet, is that we have 147 out here, which is a high volume high that wants to get tested. We have 132. 120, no, 134, 132, 134 wants to get tested. We put this on a monthly, and what you're gonna see on the monthly is that the last time that we came down here, um, it was right at this level that it held. And, and what this level is, is this, folks, is that when IBM made its low in February of 2016, 
the low was 116. As it come off that low, it went from 132 to 153, and it had volume. That's what saved this the first time. But watch this. This is what's really cool. This is what building cause is all about. We had volume of 105 million on a monthly. Well, we came down at 103 million. It saved it though, and it's, it's kind of like I was talking about the dollar index in the first update. Because it went so straight down from the 180 level, went 183 to 149 without stopping. Now watch though, this is the cool part. Then what does it do? It tries to do a counter trend bounce, and it does a decent one. It goes 149 up to 157, and we do that at 83 million. This bottom is game to be tested. So we'll see where it shakes out. If in fact we get below this 153 area, it's gonna be big trouble. The reason being is that the bottom of 153 is at 132. So that in itself is gonna be pretty heavy lifting. Um, Chipotle, big problems once again. CMG, bottom line, 10.30 this morning. Um, they reported they had to close the store down. Whole food issue, once again, Chipotle's down 21 bucks, trading at 370. Uh, that went intraday down into those lows. And if we pull this back and we take a look at it, uh, what you're gonna see is that this baby now is barreling into its low of 352. Now, if your first get-go uh, took Chipotle down from 758, down to 399, down to 352. Did it counter trend bounce, got back up to 499. This thing is game for like 322. 322 uh, is a high volume. Well, if it doesn't hold 322, 233 is coming at you. Because what you have there is that that is the high volume low from October of 2012. So unfortunately, they have big problems. No two ways about that. Uh, we take a look at the leader on the way down inside the Dow Industrials today. That is Goldman Sachs. Uh, Goldman Sachs have been trying to make it over this $230 level, and they've been trying to do that since it broke down in March of this year. Uh, been up there each and every time, each and every time it goes up, fails on volume, couldn't hold price. Now you come off that and you've come off with volume. Goldman Sachs looks like it wants to run down into the 218 to 209 area. That has a high volume low at 209. Uh, the XLF, what we have with the XLF, that's been a flat market out here today. Uh, bottom line, though, it doesn't look like the XLF is going to be able to make it over this uh, $25.22. Uh, you know, you got uh, Bank of America come out with numbers this morning. No, the market's not impressed with them. You know, it's sideways move. The, the, these financials aren't moving a lot, but guess what? They are not moving up. You know, Bank of America just went from $25 down to $23.94. If we take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here, and this will be another low volume day. Uh, oh, let's go to Netflix. And Netflix uh, blew away the numbers. Uh, Netflix uh, trading up $22 uh, monster volume. And that opened at uh, 176. You're at 183 right now. You know, big numbers. Uh, we go back to the higher volume stocks in this market. You have advanced micro down 40 cents. Uh, Facebook is up 298. We're gonna go back to Facebook. That's a new all-time high. Microsoft is down 26. You get GE up five. Harley Davidson's getting hit. That's down three. I'm sure everyone that needs a Harley uh, has a Harley. And uh, bottom line, that they don't use them a lot anyway. Um, Apple is uh, up 18 cents. You get uh, Citigroup up 12. Freeport Mac Marine is flat. Let's go back to Harley. H-O-G is the symbol. That's trading $48.95. This is a monster ABC down. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so you've had a consolidation. Look at that. Wow, this has been quite a consolidation for a long period of time. Yeah, so Harley's going after Islam. It's a high volume low at 36. This is pretty amazing. That uh, so Harley had a, had, a, had a low in 2009 of seven dollars and 99 cents. Goes up to 74. Gets down to 36. That's a counter trend to 63. It's a little trouble in paradise here. Uh, and I suspect what, what what you really actually have there is that you you have 
there's a lot of Harleys out there. They're beautiful machines. There's no doubt about them. Um, you know, but all the, the, the baby boomers folks, including myself, um, you know, I, I don't have a Harley. I drove a Harley's for years. But then I wiped out a couple good times and that was it. I wanted to live. <laughs> um, <laughs> bottom line is that uh, I suspect everyone that has a Harley probably has it. And, uh, you know, the next generation coming up, they like the uh, pocket launches because those pocket launches, they can really uh, rock it out of there. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 58. NASDAQ is up 24. S&P's uh, down a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow right now uh, is down 56. NASDAQ's up 27. S&P's down one and a half. And if we uh, take a look at uh, these numbers, uh, we are just at the beginning of... Earnings season, folks, and uh, let me run through some of these. going to be a lot of numbers after the close out here. So you get the CSX coming out. That's the trading company. Uh, you got IB Broker. Of course, that's a large broker dealer. Uh, United Airlines. Uh, we got, uh, that's, uh, oops, wrong one, EVTS. There we go.
There we go. Um, you're going to have, uh, let's see, TXT. What's that? TXT. Oh, you get Textron. That's, that's a huge defense contractor. Uh, Textron's coming out. Uh, second, there we go. Tomorrow morning, you have, uh, let's see, some, there's, there's so many of these companies coming out at the same time. What is that one there? Farmers Mutual, uh, Bankrupt, a lot, lot of numbers coming out. That's the bottom line. We go over into the Dow and we take a look at some of these Dow stocks. Um, we have um, IBM right now up 80 cents. You get Johnson & Johnson. Now, Johnson & Johnson, let's go to Johnson & Johnson. That's up 251. That came out with numbers this morning. That's catching a bid, no doubt. And, okay, so uh, Johnson & Johnson, their estimate was $1.79 for the second quarter, earnings per share. They came in with $1.83. Uh, they see their fiscal year sales uh, at 75.8 billion to 76.1 billion. Uh, that's at the high end. They had seen 75.4 to 76.1. So that has some juice underneath it. Johnson & Johnson pays a 2.5% dividend. And let's put this in here. Put this on a monthly. Yeah, it's strong. It's really strong. Yeah, you, had, you, you know, I get this on a monthly. It had volume last month. J and J just went from uh, 2009. It's trading at 46 bucks. You're at uh, 134 right now. So you definitely have some numbers there. Let's go up and we take a look at the uh, XAU and the HUI. So XAU ready to launch the first swing point coming off the bottom. We are at 82 dollars and 62 cents. XA is the Philadelphia Gold and Silver index. Uh, 8380 is the number. And we're going to be looking for 32 million shares there as we get into that number. Right now you're at 8262. So I suspect we're going to probably go for it tomorrow. Uh, gold bugs index. We take a look at the gold bugs index. And most, a lot of the gold stocks folks are coming out with their numbers next week. Um, we take a look at the gold bugs index. That's at one, uh, that's up $1.16 right now. Trading 189.47. That will take a few more days. Uh, no, that can move four days. It's going to be interesting. That can move four bucks in a day, a uh, much higher number, of course, because uh, we're at 189.50. Uh, 194.75 is the number. You know, but in both cases, they, they look like they're actually going to go for their June 6th swing highs. Let's go over to the leader. The leader right now is Royal Gold, folks. Uh, Royal Gold, of course, it's a royalty company. And uh, this little baby yesterday, I believe, took out a swing point with volume. Yep, it did. It did 717,000 shares versus 462. So that's a huge deal in itself because that's a, oh, this is sweet, actually. Look at this. This is a nice ABC up. Your A point is 67. Your B is 81. 14 bucks, 74, 84, 88. 88 is the A to B. This is a, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. You get 88 is the price projection, and your high is 100. You know, so the bottom line is that we're going to go for the last. Oh, I see what's happening. The last swing high, August of last year. Yeah, you know, 2000. August of last year had the high of 87.74. So right now that ABC structure is saying it's going to go there. Now watch this, folks. This is really cool. Oh, man, this will be a trip. Okay, so picture. We know that the, the dolls got destroyed. What we haven't got is that we haven't got some real heavy bids inside the gold, silver, and the equities markets. Yeah, they're, they're up, but they're not up compared to how this dollar has gone south. That being said, I'm going to show you something here because we may have a much larger ABC structure on the way up inside Royal Gold. This will be a trip. This is on a monthly. But you get 25 bucks. I'm going to ballpark it. And you get 87. So we're talking, what, uh, 20, uh, 62 bucks. And the C point is 60. So that's 122. 
Yeah, that's what... Okay, so this very well could be a large ABC structure on the way up that would actually take it over. Now, this is a longer-term deal, but the setup is here. And if you're watching Tiger TV, I'm going to put this up for you and mark it out so you can see how this thing is shaking out. Because we went up with volume from the January 16th, January 2016 to August. If you're in that market, then you know that was a, not only a rocket ship, it was a field day. We come back down. You come back down with lighter volume. You're going up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need uh, 15 million shares going over the swing point of 87. That can do it easy, though. That's not, that's not a big deal. That is not a big deal, particularly the way that this uh, equity is running right now. And if that's what you get, you get a 122 inside of that. Let's go to uh, Franco Nevada, FNV, and see how Franco Nevada is sh shaking out. So that's got a bid, too. That's at 72. That wants to run up to the high of 76. Put this on a monthly. Okay, so this, this one here wouldn't be an ABC up. Let me look at this again. I want to go back to the reason that this one wouldn't be, I believe that the retracement was too much. Yeah, this, well, it's a close call, actually. So this one on the longer term can be an ABC up, just barely, though, because what it did, it did a 61.8% retracement. When it does that, if it's over that, yeah, it really isn't. It just nicked it over. So you could probably get it. Where Royal Gold, when you see, you know, the type of retracement that Royal Gold did, it's really minimal for a long-term chart as to the expansion and the type of retracement it did. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, this is intense. So when Royal Gold ran off the bottom of 2016, you ran from 16, no, from $24 up to 86. You pull back to 63. That's only a .382 retracement. Royal Gold's the number, man. I'd love to f figure out, you know, how that, you know, I, I know it works on a, on a probability basis, but it's so cool when you think that Franco Nevada used to be the strongest one, right? Now Royal Gold is the strongest one. And when I say strongest, it's for years that th this happens. You know, I've been doing the Gold Report now, oh my God, 16 years, you know, so pretty intense. But it looks to me like you've got the run happening, folks. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now. Down 58. NASDAQ is up 27. S&P's are flat. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2000, 
2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now at on 58. NASDAQ is uh, up 24. SPs are off a buck and a half. Let's go over, uh, well, here. First, we'll go into the oil market. CLU, CLU 7. So, Oil out here trading at 46.61. We get um, API after close tonight. We get EIA tomorrow. Uh, now this got this got a little juice pushing into uh, the downdraft, but it it hasn't been able to hold price. It couldn't get to the swing point of 47.52 today, which is a negative. So bottom line, you know this looks to me that you're still going to go test the lower end of this whole trading range right now and you know we do when we take a look at the downdraft meaning we went we went from 52 dollars in may down to 42 in june uh you did a 50 percent retracement that's a normal retracement so that that also is saying that you can go back and retest the 42 dollars if we go take a look at the um, XLE, the equities uh, that depend on uh, the price of oil. Bottom line, the XLE right now is trading at 64 bucks. Um, that can't handle higher price either. It's uh, let's put this on a weekly. That's been a one-way trade. Uh, you're at 78 in December. We're at 64. It has some support here. It has, and where the support's coming in, it's coming in from the lows that were established in 2016. We look at Exxon Mobil, X O M. Uh, Exxon, oh, this is trouble for it. Okay, so Exxon Mobil laying at its lows. You're at eighty dollars and fifty-eight cents. That's dangerous, man, because it has, it has, it wants to test the seventy-nine dollars, but that is definitely dangerous. Uh, Chevron, we take a look at Chevron. Same setup, yeah. You see both of these inside the XLE, just to give you an idea. Both of those look bad too, but that's the whole, that's not the whole weighting structure, but it's a big number. Yeah, that's 38% of the XLE. 22%, 22.4 is uh, ExxonMobil, 15.78 is Chevron. If you got to see uh, yesterday in the journal, folks, was quite an article about, uh, let me bring the, the oil contract up again. Um, there's very few large funds, folks, that go to zero. Um, you know, in the trading business in general. Uh, when they say large, over $2 billion. There was an article in the journal, if you checked it out yesterday, if you got to see it. And what it was about is it, it was about a $2 billion energy fund that literally went to zero. Um, they're going to liquidate it. it. It's one penny on the dollar or something. And what it was is that I'm bringing this back right now when Oil was trading out, so oil traded out at the $100 level from March of 2011 all the way over to June of 2014. And what this company did 
uh, and th this is what's unusual too. So check this out. So this is a, it was a energy fund, private equity energy fund. Okay, so accredited investors, the big investors. In fact, the state of Florida was in it. I saw that, and normally they do pretty good. But there was a lot of people that do pretty good. But bottom line, they're all going to lose all their money on this one. And what I, this is where the danger was. What they did is that normally a private equity fund or any type of fund like that, you have. You're buying, let's picture if you're buying oil wells, which they were doing. Normally what you would do there is that you would buy the oil wells and just like a piece of property, you don't, you're not going to put all the properties together and mortgage all the properties in case if something happens. Then what ends up happening there is that your bad properties can take down your good properties. Well, these guys made a huge mistake because instead of packaging the wells, which they could have done, by the way, okay, they could have packaged, you know, 100 wells here, 100 wells there, 100 wells there, packaged them up. They put it all under one umbrella, they leveraged the one umbrella, and went right down the tubes. Um, pretty, pretty wild. Uh, I suspect, and it looked like by reading the article, that this is the biggest one thus far, because uh, the bank called the loan, and, you know, the deal's done. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be more of them. Uh, what is pretty amazing is that, you know, I remember oil at that 100 mark. I really didn't, uh, until bringing this chart up, realize that we were at that 100 mark for so long. So there's going to be a lot of other companies that went out there that bought oil at those numbers thinking that, okay, we're going to sustain, um, you know, that $100 oil. Yeah, they did have debt. That's what took them down. They, they had $2 billion in equity, and they leveraged it up 50%, and they took a hundred, uh, $1 billion in debt. Yeah, so, and it was Wells Fargo that called the loan. Yeah, um, you know, so bottom line, uh, but you can see how long that we actually did trade at this $100 level. It was a long time. February of 2011, all the way over to, yeah, we did uh, three years almost, you know. So... Uh, you know, we'll see whether we get back up to those levels, but it looks like, number one, we get a lot of oil. Number two, you get fracking. Number three, you get electric cars. You know, you start putting all, those all together. Number four, you get Uber, okay? <laughs> the bottom line is that, um, you know, well, Uber needs gasoline, but um, it doesn't need all, all these fill-ups on a continual basis, so pretty intense. We're going to take a look at the Euro. You talk about a uh, little rocket ship out here. Uh, Euro break topside once again. You know, the euro, we were at 105 uh, in April. You're at 115 right now. And that was the number, man. We're looking for 116, I believe. Okay, so watch this. This is going to get wild. Actually, we're breaking this right now. You know what we're doing? Yeah. One, right where we are right now, folks, you get one more day like this, and this euro will be a rocket ship and the dollar is going to get toasted, man. Because this actually looks like, holy cow. Now, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, 123. You're talking 123 inside the euro, you know. You're at 115. The euro bottomed out at 103. 120. Yeah, what a move that is, man. Just So, picture this. We've already done a 15% move inside the euro. 15%. And that's been in eight months, 15%. You know, and in that context, don't forget, you know, I always have our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney on from Everbank World Markets. You want to open a foreign currency account? It's free, meaning no fees. It's FDIC insured. It's all of the above. You know, come over to our website at TFNN. These are great accounts, folks. I mean, and you don't, you don't open these, by the way, to trade. You, you open these if you're going over to Europe, if you want to diversify your, the dollar, because what does happen is this. So picture, what happens, you just come over to TFNN, you can hit the Everbank banner, which is on the right-hand side. What happens when our dollar gets lower or higher? Let, let's say lower in this case, because that's what's happening. The, the buying power inside the United States, it, you know, is basically the same. You know, it's not, we don't get hurt like that. Where you get hurt is if you are, importing anything, if you're going on vacation to a different country, that's where you can feel the squeeze and you can feel it dramatic. So bottom, that, that's, that's the difference. You open one of these accounts, let's say you're going to Europe, you open a Euro account. You're going to, to put dollars in, 
They convert them to euros. Bottom line, going to South America, you do pesos, all of the above. Uh, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051. It's 855-750-4051. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now. Where is she? Down 61. NASDAQ's up 27. S&P's are down 1. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 59. NASDAQ is up 27. S&Ps are down 1. Let's go take a look at where we're coming in volume-wise out here. Uh, you're at 470 million on NYSE. That's weak, no doubt, but they'll put like 300 million in there at the close. Uh, it's pretty intense uh, at the close. And, so, and we're at 1.541 billion on the NASDAQ composite. Uh, so what you, what you do have happening here at these closes right now, um, this is a lot of the uh, ETFs that are just getting themselves into net asset value uh, as we come into the close. Let's just go over to the IWM for a second because the IWM is, uh, uh, that thing can move around in about two seconds. Uh, but it's pretty close. Right now, uh, it's trading 141.71 and the uh, NAV is uh, 141.74. So that's pretty close. The GDX, that's, that's real close. The GDX which they put volume in at the close. Uh, that's trading 22.16 and the 
uh, NAV is 22.18. Yeah, so that, that's going to be that's that's going to be a close number. Uh, after the close, uh, what we will see after the close here, and this was pretty cool, you'll you'll see some action uh, inside the futures market. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, this is a great time to do it to test drive it. You can come over to our website at TFNN, hit that Nadex banner, bring it up. Uh, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined options trade. Uh, during um, earnings season, this is the best time that you can test drive that. The reason being, you see, is that inside the S&P, so the E-minis, what will end up happening is that these will move, whether you're a bull or a bear, okay? And this would be specifically on IBM. Uh, if you think it's going to move, what will end up happening, you, that future is going to move because IBM is a big part of the S&P. So that, and it's not that, it's not every earnings, um, that equity that will move those futures, but IBM will move those futures, just as uh, Goldman Sachs moved those futures this morning. You know, if Goldman Sachs, and, and the key there, by the way, too, is this, is that the, you need to make sure that the equity is coming out between 4 and 4.15. In IBM's case, they came, they, it's going to be just like, uh, Google's the first one that started this, by the way, years ago, folks. What Google has done, Google comes out, and it totally makes sense, like a fraction of a second after 4 o'clock. Uh, once they started that, they were the first ones to do that for a long period of time. Now, you do see IBM caught on and say, okay, you're a big tech company. You shouldn't we'll be worrying about a split second Bottom line, you're going to see IBM come out um, after the close in a split second. And uh, what we have here is that uh, the bulls and bears are fighting. You know, you, you, got, you can see the expansion of volume coming into the close. Last 10-minute bar, we did 355,000. We've already done uh, 412,000. It's got three minutes left coming into the close. Um, that being said, guess what? Uh, this, this doesn't look to me like uh, it's going to basically get into higher price. You know, it has a high volume doji at 157, but it doesn't look, the 157, you're coming into 12 million shares, you did 6 million. Um, this looks like, once again, good old IBM um, is probably have a reduction in their revenue. They're going to probably get rid of some more people. They're going to probably buy some more stock back, bottom line. Uh, we start putting that together. We'll see where that uh, equity is going to trade. Dow Industrials right now up 58. You got the Nasdaq. Uh, no, Dow's down 58. Nasdaq's up 27. Uh, and I believe the Nasdaq. Let's see. Are we we're right at the very high. Yeah, we are. So the Nasdaq's going to close at the high. Uh, 63.41. Yeah, it's going to close at a new all-time high. Pretty intense. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with lots of numbers for you after the close. Dow Industrials down 59. Nasdaq up 27. S&P's down one. We're going to be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN. The following is a presentation of TFNN.
The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Nick in Tampa. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, it is an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. We appreciate you calling. No problem. Um, dude, I've been listening to your show for about two years now, and it has just been wonderful. I listen to you, Basil, Andy, and you guys do an amazing job. Well, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, folks, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 54, NASDAQ up 29, S&P's off a buck and a half, gold contract up $7.80 at 1241 an ounce. Silver up 13 cents, $16.23 an ounce. Platinum up a buck at 927 an ounce. Copper flat 272 a pound. Light sweet crude up 42 cents, 46 dollars 65 cents a barrel we're gonna have the api numbers at uh, 4 30 coming on notes 10-year note up 12 ticks 126.04 30-year bond up a full point 153.28 king dollar down 469 ticks traded at 94.435 good old king dollar folks is making its way down into the 92 to 91 area you broke to new lows today monster volume on the break it's got a head of steam it's like a choo-choo train that's uh bottom line uh throwing uh some steam off in a big way the euro is trading at 115 and a half to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 112 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do we have out here? So, you had the SPY out here, closed flat, uh, up 14 cents, actually, uh, 245.66. Uh, anemic volume, uh, once again, uh, right now we're at uh, 245.59. Uh, Big Blue uh, just come out with those numbers. Uh, so uh, the numbers on Blue, Big Blue go like this. They were looking for 290, 274, they made 297. Uh, their margin is still 47%. They are fir affirming year end view. Big Blue closed at 154 right now. That is trading at 154. So there's not much action on that baby uh, just yet. We go over to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials um, got down to a price point today of uh, 21,471. Closed at 21,574. So. Big Blue, I mean, uh, the Dow has to get back inside of 21535 in order to get to lower price. That's where we broke top side on Friday. NASDAQ Composite. The Composite finished at its highs out here today, folks. Uh, this is a new high for the Composite. Composite was up 29 bucks, 6344 The last high was 6341 NDX100 is reaching its highs. Uh, NDX 100 was up 40 bucks, closed out at 58.80, 58.97 is the high out there. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold caught a bid, gold contract up 760. You're done 244,000 contracts. Uh, I suspect our next level up here is the 1260 area, and that's on a short-term basis. Um, give it a couple weeks, and we're going to be up to the 1298 area. XAU, HUI, they both went forward out here today, uh, building some good cars. The XAU right now is at 82. I suspect that wants to run up to its swing high from the 6th of, Janu uh, 6th of June. 
which is 87.39. Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup. Uh, Gold Bugs Index was up 73 cents. You're trading at 189.204. And if you can hear that train in the background, this is so cool. CSX just come out with numbers. Uh, CSX, this is awesome, man. Uh, they literally just come out with numbers, too. And that is a CSX train outside. I love those trains. Uh, that closed at $54.64. That is trading at $56.88. Let's see what they had to say. Hear that whistle, baby? Woo -woo. That's downtown Clearwater, folks. And you know, so I'll give you a quick history lesson here. This is pretty cool. Um, so the Bel Air Country Club, uh, the Bel Air Hotel, uh, plant, plant built that railroad line. He was, he built the, the line on this side. Uh, bottom line, that, that's, that's, that's his line, <laughs> uh, for years ago, coming, coming, uh, right down the middle of, uh, uh, Clearwater, which is pretty wild. So, uh, CSX, let's see what they have to say out here. Okay. So, uh, they, the estimate was 59 cents. They made 64. Bottom line, things, uh, bidding up a couple dollars. Right now, I believe this is going to be at highs. So, yeah, it is. It's all-time highs. Uh, we are at uh, $56 right now. Notes and bonds. Notes and bonds still want higher price, lower yield, folks. Uh, the note market out here today caught a bid once again. 10-year uh, right now did uh, 1.3 million contracts. 12605, that's making the run for the high of 12708, which was on the 14th. Uh, good old King Dollar, just kiss it but goodbye. King Dollar, folks, uh, goes south with volume, 33,000 contracts. Uh, bottom line, you know, big problem in King Dollar land. Uh, no, no two ways about that. And when you take a look at this, uh, you know, you want to see something really wild, folks? P E S O. You know, uh, bottom line is that the night of the election, uh, the peso got crushed, of course, because Trump said he's going to build a wall. Well, guess what? Uh, the peso, folks, uh, not only is strong, uh, it's stronger than it was for the night of the election. And I was uh, joking with the, some of the tigers in the den. I said, well, maybe Mexico will build a wall and keep us out. Because the bottom line is that whatever's wrong with the dollar is not wrong with the peso. The peso's just gone from 22 dollars, 22 pesos to one U.S. dollar to 17.48, and that thing's getting stronger. The peso looks like it's going to go down to 16, and it very well can go to 13. So, bottom line, not sure, quite sure why the dollar is down, fast, furious, and all of the above, but it's problematic. There's no doubt about that. Let's go to uh, Dan in Brooksville. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing? Good. How are you? I've listened to you on and off for years. I just bought your book, Timing the Trade, off Amazon about two weeks ago. I've really been enjoying it. And um, I bought a while back um, a couple, I've shorted a couple puts in MRO. I was up at the $14 range. I uh, was still bullish on it. Um, got them at the 12 And um, now I'm holding. I, I, I was assigned on one. I canceled a couple. Nevertheless, I find myself with 1,050 shares of MRO. Uh, it feels like, it seems like it's hit some support where it's at. It doesn't seem to be going any lower the past couple few days. And actually... Um, Went okay, up that, a bit today. Yeah, nice, nice to see what you're looking at. Yeah, it's, it's come off the low. Here, stay right there, all right? Be right back. 877-927-6648. Yeah. Dow Industrials uh, finished down 54. NASDAQ up 29. S&P's flat. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So Big Blue also come out with numbers. That closed at 154. That's trading 152. And uh, bottom line, uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Uh, they're saying that they uh, made their numbers, but the market's still not digging it. We're talking with Dan from Brooksville, and we're talking about uh, MRO. So, here, Dan, can you just go over the... Did you buy puts or sell puts? Sold them. Okay, you sold them. Okay. So, yeah. he's looking for higher price. Um, <laughs> I was, yeah. And like I said, it, it seems like it's hit some kind of... Yeah, no, some kind I, of bottom and bounce a little bit. But. No, no, I like this trade. Okay, so if you, if you take a look at this, first I got it on a weekly. So MRO got down to a low of $6.52 February of 2016. Um, comes off there with volume, wide price spread, does it again in December of 2016. Now what you've done, you've backed right into the first level off the low, which, you know, which is what you like to do with dramatically lighter volume. So, I mean, yeah, I, I can see this thing running to 1250. I mean, you get a shot at 18 bucks at this, you know. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I'm thinking. I know they got earnings coming out too, I think August 2nd. Yeah. Um, but I just uh you know, I, I just decided I'm going to I'm going to ride this train until until something gives. I just well, the, I mean, when you get the if you get the expansion, then just move it because that this is a dead cat bounce. But that's all right. A dead cat bounce, you know, can can do some action. I mean, because you know this equity, you know, went from, you know, got destroyed. I mean, it went from forty one bucks down to five right. bucks. So nothing nothing wrong with a dead cat bounce, man. Okay, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Have have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the second hour. And, of course, don't forget, Andy's got a great show right here, TFNN, every Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, folks, no matter where you are listening right now, uh, our man uh, Dan from Brooksville was listening on WZHR in Tampa. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. You go to tfnn.com. On the right-hand side, you just hit Tiger TV. Um, Andy's also got a couple great newsletters. You can come over to our website, test drive those newsletters. The, you go to tfnn.com. You get the Technometric Commodity Report as well as Daily Essentials. Andy, heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm doing good. Doing good. So that dollar, huh? Yeah. 
Looks toast. Looks like it's uh, heading right. Actually, the euro looks like it's heading for 120. Exactly. And at 120, yeah. it breaks down past the 91.88, and that could get that could get messy technically. Yeah, yeah that would say the dollar's going to 88, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's below, pretty intense. Low 91.88. That's kind of critical support for the uh, for the, the market that started back in May 2014. So we'll see what happens over there. But meanwhile, for precious metals, it seems like things are lining up pretty nicely right now. We, you know, we have um, rates, uh, bonds are, are edging higher. And you got the dollar going lower. So that's kind of the best of both worlds. Because I think that gold and silver had been paying more attention to the to the interest rates uh, over over recent weeks. And uh, right now that you have both of those working, I think we could be on the verge of a very interesting move in silver. Uh, well, I, I mean, know, don't you think the I, I agree with what you're saying, but we should be getting a monster move. I mean, yeah, silver, the, silver. Keep your eye on silver. Listen, we had the monster move down, right? To 15, yeah. 14 and a <laughs> yeah. half. And in the laws of physics, they say for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. So I expect to come in here one morning, you know, in the near future and see silver up at uh, 17 and a quarter. No, no, I, I agree. I mean, I, yeah. it just, it's, it's, and what happens inside the metals market, folks, this is how perverse the metals market actually is. I mean, that's the reality. It's, um, you know, what I do like is that if you take a look at Royal Gold, you know, that's been the leader in this coming off, and man, it just it blew away its B point, had the volume behind the move on Friday. This thing is it's going to its highs. And it, in fact, it may be a much larger ABC up on a monthly basis. And that's an indication, folks. So you get Franco Nevada and you get uh, Royal Gold. Both of those are normally a really good indication where the metal will go because they're both royalty companies, and that's all they depend right. on is the gross price of gold. You know, so. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, I mean, you know, if it, it, it will be – listen, silver's been a leader all year long because it's more volatile. And uh, I expect silver to catch a big bid here. I, I'm kind of – I think it's, it's kind of building cause. It's just brewing. It's brewing very nicely here. So – We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, as far as oil is concerned, um, you know, very interesting in oil. Last week we had uh, Citigroup come out, and they made a pretty compelling argument that uh, demand is going up. They're looking for 60 bucks for crude oil at the end of the at the end of the year. Then we had uh, Goldman Sachs come out uh, with a very compelling article that the oil market needs shock and awe. And that uh, they think the price is heading back to, to below 40. So if you average the two together, you get $50 a barrel, <laughs> which I think continues to be the sweet spot for crude oil. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is what the, the, the analyst, the market analyst is saying about crude. But the interesting thing about crude for me, um, number one, uh, contangos are, are kind of drifting around. And that means there's not a lot of hedging activity. So that's good. And open interest is going down. So you're not seeing a lot of shale uh, activity. Crude oil is going to move off these API and these EIA numbers. And maybe we'll get them after the break. We'll get the, the yeah, first few. Yeah, 4.30. Yeah. Right. That's where it's going to move. But the interesting thing, Tom, the crack spreads, as I always tell you. Yes. Let's look at the, uh, the gasoline crack spread here. That thing made a new high today. It finally traded over $20 a barrel. Okay. So the product demand is good. But it's the summer season, so it's peak demand. But if we look at the heating oil crack, all right, which is distillates, that's also up there near the highs. So these crack spreads, these processing spreads are supportive for the price of crude oil. So that's why I think, listen, I'm not as bullish as I was down at $42, $43 a barrel. Yeah. Uh, I'm less bullish here. I don't think there's that much upside. But I do think there's another three dollars and forty cents potential in this market to bring it back to that level, which I think is the level that makes everyone in the world happy at this point. Hey, let me ask you, what is the difference between like I got lean hog futures up, right? Now okay. what is the difference between that and pork bellies? Pork bellies were delisted. Oh pork bellies were okay. delisted because of lack of liquidity. Right. So there's there no all time more highs. pork belly market. Because everyone's eating bacon. They're at all time highs. Even bacon though they're delisted, there's an article in the journal this morning, man, that like pork bellies, they're 20 percent over the, what they've ever been because right, so many right. different I mean, restaurants. Still are, a, listen, there's still a physical market and there's still sure. a market for it. 
but lean hogs is the uh, is the the market sardine, the trading okay. sardine. Okay. And the nearbys are still above ninety cents. You know, I mean, which is amazing move considering they were forty point seven cents last October. Yeah. So more right. than a double there. Right. But it's in backwardation, and and uh, today today all the meats uh, the the meats all came off. They all got clocked a little bit. You know, which is not a surprise because we're well into grilling season and futures markets always look forward. And when you look a few months forward it's the end of the grilling season so yeah seeing a little bit of volatility there uh in the meats um taking a quick look at natural gas uh that thing is trying to to, to challenge that uh three uh three dollars and twelve point two cent uh resistance level here uh i you know i i continue to think this thing is a a buy on dips you i think you're going to get a very low injection number this week Good. Well, you stay right there, folks. Andy and I are going to be coming right back. It'll only take us a few minutes to get that uh, uh, API number. That's the oil number that will be coming out uh, at 4.30 or in four minutes. Dow Industrials uh, closed down 54. Yet IBM come out with numbers after the close. IBM is uh, bidding down. Now it's bidding down three bucks. It was down two. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank as a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials uh, closed down 54, NASDAQ up 29. Uh, Big Blue come out with the numbers. Uh, they made their numbers, but the market's not digging it anyway. Big Blue's trading down uh, $3. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck, and we are talking commodities. And if you are a vegetarian, folks, we apologize because we are talking all these meats and 
We're kind of get, getting wild in the tigers down here. <laughs> <laughs> You are, um, you are carnivorous. Uh, I am definitely carnivorous, man. You know, I, you, know, I, you know, the amazing part, I was a vegetarian twice in my life. Once for four years and once for two. But guess what? I'm, I'm Irish and I like potatoes and meat, man. And that's, you're, off, you're off the wagon. I've been off the wagon for quite a while, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I don't think meat is bad. I think those those uh, the, I, I think meat is actually important protein. So, yeah. Um, anyway, natural gas. Natural uh, gas. Interesting one. I think we're going to get a, a low injection because of the heat uh, going on right now um, across the United States. I think analysts are calling for between 28 and 30 BCF. Uh, which is low for this type of time of the year. So we'll see if the market can push through that 312.20 resistance level. We've yeah. tried the downside. Maybe we'll try the upside now as we get ready yeah, for, the, you know, if it, for the winter you know, season. Yeah, and, and right, right at that level, man, there's not much stopping. It gets by there. You're at 328, right? You know? Right, and then 353. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. One other interesting market here that I, I'm kind of liking, I'm kind of seeing – Coffee's been percolating. Okay. Been percolating nicely oh, lately. Oh, I like it. Coffee's yeah, percolating. Yeah. Hey. Coffee going to put you on Saturday Night Live, man. Big, big <laughs> resistance. Big resistance up at one a dollar forty. Okay. But uh, you know, today we're up to, um, you know, we're up to just about a dollar thirty-five on the September uh, futures contract. So, that's. Um, that's uh, uh, been moving, certainly. And sugar is back above uh, its uh, uh, resistance level. It's above 14 cents again. We'll see if we can hold that level. Uh, fell down to 12.74, put in a double bottom on two successive days there. And uh, it's kind of kind of sitting around that 14 cent level now. You know, the in the sugar market, we had a, a deficit that took the price up to 24 cents. That turned into a surplus. And uh, now inventories are starting to go down again. So we might be going back into the cycle towards deficit. So that'll be interesting, certainly. And the grains, well, Tom, that's all up to Mother Nature. Yeah. All up to the weather. All up to it. But you know what You know what else has been interesting? Lumber. Have you looked at lumber lately? What is the symbol on number? L? LB. LB. Lumber just rallied from uh, 334 in June up to uh, 385. I, that's a big move. That's a big move, a $40 move in a couple of weeks. And uh, you know that's that to me. That's all new home construction in the U.S. Uh, is is very supportive of that market. And the other thing that's interesting, iron ore is up to almost seventy bucks a ton from yeah. fifty three in June. So you know you're seeing stocks like BHP, Rio Tinto, Valley all coming back strong, and that's off the back of iron ore. No, no, it totally makes sense. Yeah, Valley just so, went from 760 to 942, right? Right, Maybe. right. All iron ore related. I mean, iron ore really getting up there. Let me see where that was trading today. I think I marked that down somewhere. You can't put a chart of that up, unfortunately. I got it. I got it. I so we're at five, it's 528 a ton. It was up 15 bucks. And this yeah. this looks like it's, let's see, five, 539 is coming at us. I got, I got a 69. 67.39 today on the August futures contract. Uh, you're, you're looking at uh, different September. futures contracts. I'm looking at September, right. yeah. Right. So, so interesting. Interesting uh, developments, certainly, in the markets, showing a little bit of global growth. Even the Baltic Dry Index is ticked up. Uh, it's a back over 900. So, uh, you know, we're seeing, we're seeing some, some movement in these industrial commodities, so I which, is, which is positive. I don't have all the numbers yet, but the first number coming across, uh, 1.63 million barrels plus. U.S. Oh, crude. an increase of 1.63 million barrels. Yes. From the API. Yeah, and it, we'll get the okay. next one, folks. The next one gives you everything, but uh, that's the first one that we, came across. We should, we should see a little bit of selling on that, probably down to the 46 level. Yeah. Should be. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It's the EIA numbers that'll really establish it tomorrow. But, right. Uh, that's what they. That's what these things have been moving so, with. So, hey, let me let me ask you. Let's go back to wheat for a second. Now, the sure. the aspect of what is the actual definition of a weather market? Well, a weather market is is a. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of like it sounds. It's a. It's now, a. It's a 
market that's that's uh, that that's heavily influenced by by the weather. That's, that's seasonal. It. Okay, right. Seasonal, right. right. So I mean, all of these grains are certainly weather markets. All agricultural markets are weather markets. Um, they, you know. With all the inventories there, that dampens it. But I think that the dollar, the weakness in the dollar is also making uh, uh, grains, uh, uh, our, it'll, it'll oh, lift it totally export, makes sense. U.S. export. Sure, right. You know, yeah. I'd love to see this wheat market come down to 472, man, because that's where it took off from, folks. If you can get it down there with, with light volume to 472, then you have the chance of getting it back to 574, which is pretty amazing. Mm. And On you a know, technical uh, level, I, I know, yeah, I mean... All you need is a all you need is two weeks of hot, dry weather. It'll be right back there. Too. Well, you know it's amazing. I'm sure you've looked at it too. That tea cream fund, you know, when they used to be uh, yeah. advertisers, they're getting some volume in these now too. They are and, getting some. They are getting w e a t. Some. I mean, that that baby took off like a rocket ship uh, from seven dollars. You know, traded up to eight forty. Now you're back seven sixty nine. Yeah, I mean, you know what the you know what the the only issue with those instruments and and they're great instruments they do a great job at replicating their weather instruments <laughs> just like the commodities they replicate yeah they go to sleep the volume goes to sleep for long periods of time and then uh then it uh it goes up and down but so. what does happen right isn't the the reason i was asking about that that weather deal it seems that when you get a weather market or you get a, a big move inside the commodities market meaning a separate commodity it seems like it stays there for a good year and a half or something you know what I mean I mean mm -hmm. it, it rushes forward it gets crashed and it rushes forward again it just doesn't end do you know what I'm saying right right yeah. no absolutely that's absolutely true yeah. and um, it, it's certainly it's certainly more interesting that it's been for the last four years that's right. for sure right that's right. for sure right uh, soybeans they're they're they, soybeans and corn are a little tough here a little heavy but I think that the thing that could lift corn is is gasoline uh, and ethanol. okay so you know they're all in play certainly and as we said 20 million mouths to feed more mouths to feed on planet earth every three months well, that's, you know, that if, you, if, you get a, if you get a chance and you take a look at that, uh, the pork belly article, it's a great article because now that I know that they, they don't trade the futures, too, it's even a better article because they're talking about a cash market, the transferring cash. Right. right. And what they're talking about, folks, is that from last year to this year, just last year to this year, the amount that have already been sold is up 20 percent. And it has to do with, uh, as I think you put in there, the uh, uh, ace put in there that. You know, you go to restaurants now and they have... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I put that on yeah. there, yeah. Pork belly appetizers exactly. everywhere. Exactly, Everywhere. Exactly. I mean, it's everywhere. The other thing interesting is that the biggest processor of pork in the United States is owned by the Chinese. I remember when they bought it. We were talking about yeah. it. They bought Smith it at the right foods. time. Smith, yeah. they bought it. I know. Pretty right amazing. There. Wow. Unbelievable. Listen, folks, right here, 5 o'clock. Stay tuned. Go right on your cell phone. Go to TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. You're going to get our man, Mr. Andy Heck, coming up growling and prowling with you. Thanks, man. Look forward to the show Thanks, in 20 Tom. minutes. Thanks, buddy. Stay right there, folks. Come right. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, VRTX, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. So Vertex, folks, uh, closed at 132. Uh, you know, the high for the year was 137. This baby's trading up 30 bucks right now. It's at 162. And after the close, they came across the tape. Uh, there she is. So Vertex Pharmaceuticals surged after the biotech company said that a new combination of drugs could help patients who have a form of cystic fibrosis without good treatment options. The drug cocktails, which just completed several mid-stage trials, are targeted uh, for 24,000 patients around the world who have particularly hard to treat form of the disease and that Vertex current treatments don't help. The outcome would also boost, uh, would also, yeah, it's a huge boost for the company, which makes all its money from two older treatments for the rare lung disease. Vertex uh, Pharmaceuticals, I believe this is gonna be an all-time high. Um, yeah, 162, so this is pretty intense because uh, inside the IBB, the IBB closed at 315, that's trading 319 right now, and what you're going to see inside the IBB, I believe this is about 8% of it. Uh, ver uh, no, it's only 3% of it, but still, still a decent number. Um, that is 3.8% uh, of the IBB. Let's go over and take a look at uh, one of the uh, gold stocks, one of the tigers want to look at. This is Comstock Mining. Uh, this is a North American precious metal mining company focused on Nevada, uh, and they're an exploration company. The, the low for the year is 12 cents. The high is 42 cents. Um, bottom line is that um, they realistically don't take in any money. They take in, uh, they've taken in $19,000 thus far this year. Um, when we take a look at this, what you are going to see, you're going to see a stock that's volatile, no doubt. This came off the bottom of uh, 12 cents, gets up to 22 with volume. Today, big volume to 21. Let's put, take a look at this. So this is going to be all about a land position, I suspect. Uh, I was just looking at what the Tigers were saying inside the den. You know, bottom line, if you, you, you know, you, if you buy something like this, you, you, get, you know that you're speculating in a huge way because what does happen is this. The aspect inside the metals market, most of these companies go out of business because they don't have money. That's how there's no cash flow. You can have a land position, uh, and I'm sure you've heard this many times, but guess what? If you don't have cash, folks, you don't have anything. It's that cut and dry, okay? Uh, you have to have a land position and you have to have cash because what ends up happening is that the, you, you need a longevity in the business. You need to be able to sell when that market is going up, not when the squeeze comes on and those companies can't get any more money. Now, because of the way that gold and silver is moving right now and the way that the dollar is getting croaked, what we will see is that you, you will see the expansion of credit inside the mining business. It's pretty amazing. 
you know, the last 20 years, how I've watched how, well, that last 17 years, how I've watched the expansion of credit go up and down inside that cycle in the mining business. What, what, what seems to happen, what does happen is this, is that at one point, uh, bottom line, you can't get any money. And then guess what? When these metals start moving, that speaker opens up beyond belief. Everyone wants in the market. They can get as much money as they want. And what ends up happening is that you have to get the money. That's the real, that's the real bottom line. Let's go to Jules in Clearwater. Hey, Jules, what's going on? No, Tom, the reason I called it has to do with the peso and the increased uh, value of the peso. The yes. Of the peso. Uh, from what I heard, it has to do with uh, corn tariffs. Uh, because of the tariffs that Trump initiated, we they're going to start dealing with Brazil. They have started, and it may decimate the market in Kansas and out there in uh, the Midwest. So that, that, uh, that could be the reason. It's not just uh, the weather market and Mother Nature. It's good old-fashioned tariff. Well, hold it. No, the, the, it, it's just the opposite, okay? So what you have happening is this. When a, a currency gets strong, it means that economically the country's doing well, financially they're doing well, and they're stronger, not weaker. I see. So that's that's my point, because <laughs> it's like, okay, what's wrong with our dollar? It, it, yeah. What you have here is that the peso is getting stronger, not weaker. And, you know, I think, I suspect that whether it's the next two or three months, we're all going to be like saying, okay, we'll probably find out where, where the problem is, why our dollar is so weak. You know, what, what will happen is this, is that it'll be less expensive for us to sell goods overseas, that's for sure. But anything we want, we're going to be buying over there is more expensive, you know, so. Yeah, sounds good. It makes sense. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Big Blue IBM. Um, IBM closed at 154. That's trading at 151 right now. And let's see what else they have to say. Uh, oh, there she is. She, they miss revenue. Oh, this is intense. Okay. So IBM's trying to change and get their business going on the cloud. And guess what? They didn't make their numbers on the cloud. They, IBM missed their quarterly revenue with key business units declining for the second consecutive time. Um, sales in the company's technology service and cloud platform declined 5.1% from the same period a year earlier. That's a huge problem, folks. And you know what the underlying deal is that in, in, in the cloud? The monster in the room, even for IBM, is Amazon. Amazon was the first mover inside the cloud, cloud business. They're, they're freaking huge, and they keep getting bigger. Um, okay, so let's, but for, for sales to decline 5.1%, just to give you an idea, folks, Amazon sales inside the cloud went up approximately 40%, not down. This is a, this is a, the cloud should not be going down, period, because of the amount of large companies that are jumping on the cloud, um, you know, basically for security. The security deal is a big, is a big deal. Sales in the, uh, the, okay, so the unit is a make, uh, is a mark of how well the companies uh, push into newer technologies going. Total revenue is 19.3 billion, IBM said in the statement, compared with the estimate was 19.5. It marked the 21st straight quarter of year-over-year -year declines. Imagine that. It's pretty amazing, man. Um, operating card profit, excluding some items, was 297 a share, compared to the average estimate of 274 a share. Gross operating profit was 47.2 percent. Bottom line is that not a shabby business when you still get 47.2% uh, profit. Uh, would, would you do look, uh, I suspect what they're going to do once again, they'll get rid of more employees. IBM had about 500,000 employees when you go back about four years. They have 380,000 employees right now, and they have continued to buy stock back. When we take a look at this technically, uh, where this is set up, number one, is that it's, I think it's the 147 level that this thing wants to get into. The high, it's actually, yeah, okay, so what you have is this. The, the 153 level is a big number, and it looks like it's going to break that. You break the 153, man, 132 is game, you know, so uh, they, they got a few problems in paradise out here. Uh, that's the way that that is shaken out. 
If we go back over, let's see if we get the rest of these uh, API numbers for you. Now, Andy will definitely have them, though. Um, there it is. I got them all. Okay, so uh, Cushing had a, a build of 608,000 barrels. Gasoline was a, a drawdown of 5.45 uh, 5 million barrels. Distilt was a drawdown of 2.89 million. So that's not, that's not bad. You stay right there, folks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished down 54. NASDAQ was up 29. Uh, S&Ps were, uh, uh, or they are up a buck and a half right now, uh, 2460. Now, we are going to be, uh, you're talking about uh, some numbers coming out. Every day this week, folks, you're talking about big numbers coming out uh, right across the board. Uh, before the market opens, as well as after the, um, uh, after the close. Uh, we have a slew of them coming out uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, a few of the big ones out here. Let me just see this one right here. We got, uh, I think what you have, let me just look at this. I think Morgan Stanley's coming out. Yeah, that's coming out at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So this will be uh, basically the last big trading bank that's, that's going to be coming out. The rest of them come out. Um, it doesn't look like any of them are going to catch a bid. The last high in Morgan Stanley was $47, and uh, well, the last high uh, on the 6th of July was 46. The last six months was 47. That that's the setup in the in the banks is kind of the exact same setup. It's the highs in in March that they couldn't handle. 
Uh, Goldman today uh, is, is one of them that came down with some volume, uh, closed at its lows, monster volume. You know, Goldman went from uh, 230 to 222, closed at 223.31, did 6.2 million shares. That's after making a high with 2.8 million shares. Uh, this has a high volume low laying out of 213 as well as uh, 209. So I expect what you're going to see is that you're going to see more downside on that. More than likely what we're going to have, uh, Morgan Stanley will probably uh, get the baby going uh, tomorrow. Uh, the XLF, there hasn't been much movement in it. Uh, you know, the XLF uh, bottom flat, flat out here today. Uh, the IBB is going to be intriguing to watch tomorrow uh, because the IBB is at $315. Uh, you know, that went topside on the the 19th, 20th, uh, into the 22nd. You know, it went from a price point of 290 up to the 323 area. That being said, it's coming into some monster resistance, how where it got croaked from its highs. It came down from 400 bucks, came down hard, it's going right into that area. Uh, VRTX is gonna put some good juice into it tomorrow. So I expect what you're gonna see is that we're gonna go back up, test that area, that high inside the IBB, uh, and that will put some juice into the composite, the NASDAQ composite. Um, and that's saying that the composite will get up and over its high from the ninth. Uh, that high, we're, we're actually over it. We're over it by three points, uh, meaning the 63.41. We're at 63.44. Bottom line, we'll see uh, how that shakes out, uh, if it can uh, stay up into that level. Uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm uh, is coming out with its numbers after the close tomorrow night. Now, Qualcomm is a large waiting structure inside the NDX 100. Qualcomm is trading at 56. 29, and that has been having a hard time uh, catching a bid. So, you know, the highs in Qualcomm was 80 bucks, you're at 56, has some support at 52, but that, that's all, that also looks to me like that, that wants to grind lower. Uh, next week, folks, that's when you're gonna get uh, those NDX stocks coming out left and right. Facebook did another all-time high out here today, that's 162, it was up three bucks has the volume behind the move. Facebook's coming out with this numbers uh, July 26th at uh, four o'clock. Uh, you got uh, Google, I believe that's gonna run around the same time. That's July 24th. Amazon, the king, uh, July 27th. K Amazon today uh, was a rocket ship. Uh, blew away its highs, up 14 and a half dollars. Uh, took out its high of 1,016.50. You're at 1,024, and it has juice behind the move. So, bottom line, there's action. You stay right there, folks. A man, Mr. Andy Hex, coming up next. Don't forget, go to Ty, go to TFNN on your cell phone. Hit Tiger TV. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. Go have some blast with it, folks. Whee! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.